What's up guys? Obviously it's Captain Obvious and it's great to be back doing a regular commentary after posting up Project PTFO gameplay for the past four to five days. And I'm really happy to get back into the swing of things because I feel like this is what the guys subscribed me for, not for the Project PTFO gameplay. Even though people love that a lot, I still like doing my regular commentaries a whole lot better than just posting up gameplays because I feel like I put more effort into this. So I hope you guys are excited to get back into the swing of things after Project PTFO has ended. For me, at least. It's still going for the other people, but as of right now, it's done for me. But, you know, honestly, it's not really that bad. The gameplay today is a flawless conquest on um, Dumbabon Peak. It's really not that great a gameplay. It's just a giant spawn trap. And the one reason I chose it, because it's long, I have to choose long gameplay for today. Because I got a pretty long commentary coming your, coming your way. And, you know, I have some gameplays, but they're really not that, that long. I've been playing Battlefield at all for the past four to uh, three to four days because of the fact that I'm busy with school. But this is just some leftover gameplay from a little while ago just on Dem Event Peak. It's not really that great, but, you know, it's long, so that's all I care about. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Since my last actual commentary, there's been a lot of things going on in the Battlefield community, like patches and Battlefield premium details, that I really haven't commented on except on Twitter. And that's what I'm be talking about in today's video. I'll be talking about how the Battlefield Premium service has been received by the community and how I feel about it, and also about the most recent patch that has been announced for Battlefield 3 coming out this Monday, June 4th, for the Xbox and the PC, I believe. PS3 may be a day later or a day before, I'm not quite certain, but I know they're not the same day. So the first thing I'll be talking about is Battlefield Premium and what exactly it is. In my one of my older commentaries, I was commenting about the situation of how DLC is priced in Battlefield. If the pricing model is good, and about how people like to complain about how pricey the you know DLC is. And I said in that commentary, I think it's absolutely ridiculous. But Battlefield Premium has been announced and has been confirmed by Dice. They'll be talking about it more at E3 this next week, actually, and on Monday, June the fourth. But there are some things that have been kind of quote unquote leaked or have been, you know, revealed by DICE through a fact sheet. Now, fact sheets usually are released by game companies to list every single thing or every single detail about their upcoming game, upcoming DLC, whatever they're coming out for the game. And this fact sheet has a lot of things listed for Battlefield Premium that a lot of people may not have been expecting for when the service comes out. Now, a lot of the stuff isn't exactly DLC or anything you can actually buy for Battlefield 3. A lot of it is bonus in-game sort of services that they're adding into the Battlefield Premium umbrella. Now, yes, you do get all upcoming DLCs for free. Those are Close Quarters, Armored Kill, Aftermath, and Endgame. And you'll also get all the weapons, maps, um, vehicles, and all that stuff for free with your purchase of Battlefield Premium. But there are a few other things that are really not... DLC, but they are actually premium items that only the people who buy the service get. You'll get a unique in-game knife, which I think is pretty cool. I couldn't care any less about, you know, people saying, oh, it's a knife. Who cares? <laughs> it's cosmetic. I love it. I love the little things. It's going to be cool. I'm going to feel like a badass using it. So I don't care what other people think. I'm going to love using it. Unique in-game dog tags. Again, something I'm going to love using. I know some other people may hate it, but it's going to be pretty cool. 10 plus unique soldier camos, again, something I'm going to love to use. Stat reset feature, uh, I really don't like that. I know I'm not going to reset my stats, and some people may reset their stats who are at level 100 and not really earning anything, but, you know, it's going to be like prestige and Call of Duty, and it's pretty cool. It's something new to continue the life of the game. Good for them. I like them implementing new things. 10 plus unique platoon emblem decals. I don't have a platoon, so I really don't know what that means, but I'm assuming... It's new ways to customize your platoon's emblem in the customiz customizer on battlelog.com. Um, battle now we're starting to get, to get into the things that I personally are really going to like about this. Two weeks early access to all future Battlefield 3 expansion packs starting with Battlefield 3 Close Quarters. Battlefield Premium is said to be released June 4th. That means I will get Close Quarters June the 4th and everyone else will get it two weeks later on June 18th. That is really awesome. I'm glad they're doing this early type of thing because it gives the hardcore Battlefield fans something to be proud of. They, they, they love the game so much that they get the thing two weeks early. I know in Battlefield, a lot of people hate the exclusive things, the stuff that Call of Duty does a lot, but I don't care. 
all the bitching and the complaining that people do in our community is what's destroying it. I honestly hate all the spam, all the the quote-unquote letters they're writing the dice. I absolutely hate it because of the people who think that they have all the total control over the game when in reality they do not. It's all up to dice to see what they put out for the game and it's all up to them to decide what their community wants. Personally, I am going to love all the stuff with Battlefield Premium. I'm going to love every second of the DLC. I'm going to love getting it early because of the fact that I like getting premium things. I want to pay for better things than other people do. People may be saying, oh, okay, sure, I'm standing up for the community. I'm saying, like, I don't want all this premium mumbo jumbo. But in reality, you want it because you want to feel special. I want to feel special. I'm a hardcore Battlefield fan. I want to feel rewarded for my dedication to the series, and that's exactly what Battlefield Premium is going to do for me. Now, they're going to add some server queue priorities. Now, this isn't really that big of a deal, but I'm going to like it because a lot of times there's a server that I want to get into and it's full and I'm not a VIP on it, so I can't get into the front of the queue. But since I'll have Battlefield Premium, I'll be allowed to get to the first spot in the queue before everyone else. Now, you may seem, you know, you may think that that's not fair, but you're a hardcore Battlefield fan, you bought the service. You deserve to have it. Other people who are just in a server regularly, they might not be that big of a fan of Battlefield 3. And, you know, some of them may not even care about being pushed further back in the queue. They could be doing something else in that time being. So that's how I feel about this. Um, save up to five of your favorite battle reports. Now, I think a battle report is an end game sort of summarization of how you did. So that's pretty cool. Five plus unique assignments. I don't know what that's going to be, but assignments means you unlock things. So maybe there's going to be some more things you unlock. For your weapons, such as, you know, attachments, camos, whatever they want to add in there. Exclusive double XP weekends. I like that a lot. Exclusive videos, strategy guides, and additional bonus content, which has not been announced yet. I'm loving this. It's 50 bucks. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to buy it the day it's released. And I can't say anymore. It's going to be great. And I can't wait to make videos regarding Battlefield Premium and the stuff that's in it later on this year. Alright, so now that the Battlefield 3 premium service kind of talk is over with i'm going to move into talking about the new patch that's coming out june the 4th like close quarters and premium now there's a lot of stuff being released for this patch and honestly i don't want it now the, the reason i say that is because i feel like dice has been rushed trying to get this patch out the, the spam and the insults and the rude you know comments that people are making the dice for their quote-unquote lack of attention is kind of making me think that they're just putting this patch out to put it out and, ha and you know please the community honestly if they have to wait two more months for this patch to come out i'd be completely fine with it i don't have any issues with the game right now because i look at it in an optimistic way not in a pessimistic way i try to look at the things they got right not the things they got wrong there's very few things in battlefield 3 as of right now that piss me off the only thing that really annoys me is the dart thing which honestly it's not that bad when you think about it there's a lot of other things that can counter it at close range but it's it's all of a thing of being nice to dice because you know you got to be nice to the people who make your game because they're doing everything for you but when people bitch at them because they're not getting a patch out you know at a decent amount of time it gets annoying and i hate it but there's a few things in the patch that i'm gonna like especially the you know the reduced suppression personally i there was not really that much of a, an increase to me because i look at it at a statistical way all they did was increase your vulnerability to suppression. They're, they really increased the effect it had on you. All the weapons did the same amount. They also decreased the um, penalty you get to accuracy and recoil while suppressed. That's not really going to bother me because all you have to do is take cover and you probably survive a lot longer. So I like suppression before this patch is going to come out. I, I think suppression should be powerful. It's how the game should work. It's a serious game. And when you're suppressing an enemy, it should make them be scared of running out into line of fire. But... You know, again, it's this bitching that people did about complaining about every single aspect of the game that DICE just feels guilty and they have to patch it, which is not really that great. They are also adding colorblind support for consoles. Now, I'm not colorblind, but I know a lot of people are and they're going to love that. Um, I'm personally going to switch to the colorblind mode because I think the colors in colorblind mode for the, you know, the little names above people's heads are better than they are while in normal mode. So I'll definitely switch to colorblind mode because I think the colors are a lot better. They're more, you know, they're more noticeable. A lot of times they're more vibrant and bright. And I like nice, darker things that they're going to add with colorblind mode. 
They are also making a lot of weapon, vehicle, and general gameplay fixes along with some menu fixes to make the menu a little bit more usable and better to maneuver. I'm going to like all the changes that they're making to the UI, to the, you know, the experience of Battlefield 3. I'm personally not going to like the changes to the weapons because I feel like they're very good right now. Like I said, I look at them at a statistical way because that's all I do for my series. So the way they are right now personally is great. But there's a few things they're changing that are a little overdone, such as the F2000's extremely, extremely terrible accuracy with both the foregrip and normally. So there's a few things they're adding in and changing to make it a little bit more, you know, acceptable with these new attachment changes from the mega patch that was released about a month ago. I'm not going to go over all the patch changes. I'll just link to you guys to the page in the description so you guys can go check that out yourself. Personally, I'm looking forward to both the patch and Battlefield Premium. I'll be buying Premium and, you know, talking about it for a, you know, pretty good amount of time in some videos. I hope you guys like what I'm coming up with soon and all my series will return next week. Remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It helps out a lot. There are Twitter and Facebook links down in the description. And as always, rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later.